go for second important question in the lesson of gravitation. You know about the gravitation weightage is more for the neat exam. So today already one question has been discussed uh, just before. So you have seen that video very well. Now let us go for the second question in the same lesson gravitation which is more more important. And before going to the question, there is a greatest opportunity for you to join as a club membership in our channel. The purpose of joining our club membership is you can learn a lot of magical tricks from each lesson in which you can answer the question in a fraction of a second and with a single step. So if you want to learn that, what you have to do? If you want to learn a lot of tricks and the concept also, what you have to do is you have to join our Platinum Club member. So you can able to see all the features of Silver Club, Platinum Club and Gold Club respectively in my channel area. So don't miss this opportunity. Join by paying the subscription fees for the Platinum or Gold or Silver. Now let us go for the question in the lesson of gravitation. See this question. The range of circular orbits of two satellites A and B of the Earth or 4R and R. There are two radius given. What is that? One is 4R, the other one is R. Respectively, if the speed of the satellite A is 3B, then the speed of the satellite B will be, there are four options in this question. So the options are 3 d by 4, 6 feet, 12 feet, and finally 3D by 2. This question has been asked in the need 2010. Now, without using any formula and without using any concept, we are going to do in a single step now. Now see the important point, two radians are being given. What are they? 4R and R. If 4R and R is given two radius, and if they are asking the speed of satellite B, see here, speed of satellite B they have asked. And speed of satellite of A has been given as 3B. See here, where the 3B comes here, 4R and R, yes, see here. 3B is coming here. So, one of the velocity has been given, two radius have been given. To find the velocity of B, see this shortcut, VB is equal to, I am going to write as VB. What is the first velocity we are having? It is 2B or 3B? Yes, it is 3B. Multi plus, write down this 3B here. Write down this 3B. Please take your pen and note it down this 3B. Multiply. And you divide your heart. So in your heart now, in your mind you just divide 4R and R. What will be your answer? If you divide 4R by R, the rough column and R, 4R by R, we get what? Just 4. Now what you have to do is multiply by taking a root of this. Root 4. Now we get BB is equal to 3 into 2, it is 6 V. We got the answer within a fraction of a second and in a single step. So now the answer is 6 V. Let us go for the options where it lies. Option A is 3 V by 4. See here, we got the answer immediately in the option B as 6 V. So the answer lies in the option B, it is 6 V. Yes, I know you are expecting a, another uh, model question in the same model. So just I will go with another question now for your practice. Please answer this question in my comment area immediately after seeing the question. So now I am just coming up with it. So let me go with the answers now. So here I am going to just give 6 voltage. Here I am going to give 16. And here I am going to give us 4 or now I am writing the answer here 24 volt, 36 volt, 16 volt and none of the above. So this is a practice huh? which has been asked in the 2010 NEET exam. Please see this question and without using pen also you can do this answer with a fraction of a second. I hope you would understand my concept of shortcut method. So please give the answer in my comment area. The students who are new to this channel, what you have to do? Subscribe my channel, press the bell button and put your like and share all of the videos to all of your friends. And also there is another sweetest news, you can join as a Platinum Club member for learning a lot of shortcut tricks with a single set answer and to reduce the time. So thank you very much for being with me today and let us meet for another shortcut trick.